hi she was seven i'm back okay so i wanted to answer questions somebody asked me and i think i think a video would be great for this topic so i just go ahead and gonna answer your question on this video and let you guys know what i think okay someone asked me if i was rich if i was rich if i had all the money i would ever need would i be married <laughs> Would I be married if I was rich and had everything I ever wanted or needed? Well, rich doesn't mean not being lonely. You know, rich doesn't mean, you know, you have a partner. So, of course, I would be married. Uh, I don't know um, if I would be married to the same person, but I definitely would be married. Okay, because I think at, at a certain age... Um, it's fun to do things as a couple. And if you both, you know, have means or money, way, way, way better, especially for women. You know, cause we like to be romanced, wine and dine and things like that. So of course I would have a husband, duh. Um, <laughs> see men are different though, okay? When men get money, their true character comes out, okay? They will be like, oh, I can have many women. See, women don't think like that when if a woman has lots of money and <clears throat> she has one person she just wants to be taken care of treated special be wine and dine have all this romance see when a man gets a lot of money he's like oh how many women can i have oh how many uh women can i see in a month and you know I, maybe i'll have a main chick and a couple side chicks and da, 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 da. you know see men think like that women don't i mean most women don't you know some do I'm not gonna lie some women do think like that but for the majority most women just want one special person okay naturally now men get upset because women want this one special person to do all these things for them okay and men don't like the pressure because they don't feel like they can live up to it or want to live up to it they like to be free play da, 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 until they get old and it's like oh my god I, I probably better settle down you know and they're probably least likely to settle down with someone their own age. Maybe someone a little bit younger. They're probably going to go for that. Because men are not as serious about relationships as soon as women are. Like women are really get married around 26, 25, 27. Men aren't trying to get married until they're almost 40. Okay? So they're not trying to settle down. They're still trying to have fun, to play, and da 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 Um... <clears throat> So, yes, ladies, if you focus on your career, you uh, get some money, get everything that you need, and then you can decide when you want to get married, if you want to get married, da, da 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 You don't have to depend on a man. And I know I say all the time in my videos, oh, you need to find a man you can depend on. Yes, you need a man who's going to allow you to stop working if you do want to have children and who can afford to take care of you guys. Yes, you at least need that, okay? You at least need a man who will allow, who can allow you to be a woman, okay? Um, and a mother. You need a man who can swing it when, you know, when you need to raise your child, okay? Now, if you can't have that, then, <clears throat> you know, honestly, People only do what they've seen their parents do or what they think is possible, okay? If you lived in poverty and you've seen your mom raise five kids, um, you know, and work five, three, two jobs or whatever, and you go ahead and do the same thing, that's in your DNA. That's in your bloodline. You are used to that. So it doesn't seem crazy to you. You know, that's normal to you. But if you didn't see that as a child and you don't associate struggle with love, then that is not an option to you, you know. That's not an option to you. You're like, uh-uh, no, -uh, no way, you know. So a lot of women who watch my videos, some get upset, some get mad. Well, I did this, my grandma did this, my mom did this. Well, good for you. My mom did this, my mom did this, and my mom did that my sister did this my sister did this so i can't relate to 
seeing struggle, you know. So a lot of people say, oh, well, you've never had to struggle and this, this, and so that. <clears throat> I chose not to struggle, okay. There's a difference. When you see something that your parents do, oh, it's okay, my parents did it. You're choosing that, okay. You know how they say break the cycle? You can break the cycle. Okay, I saw my mom do this, this, and that. My mom was struggling in the beginning, but she broke the cycle. Okay, my mom was struggling in the beginning. After she had kids, yes, yeah, she was struggling a little bit. But after she made up her mind that she was no longer going to struggle, she didn't. Okay, so struggle is a choice. Okay, it's not... It's not um, a family heritage. It's not a badge of honor. It's a choice. So I don't condone it, but I don't say it's wrong. I just say the cycle has not been broken with your generation. You know, if you choose to continue the struggle. Um, simple choices can end the, end the struggle and end, you know, all of that it can end it you know you'll have a new family um, creed you'll have a a new reputation you know um uh, same with men too you know if you have a history of you know men in your family leaving their spouse or children you know you can be the one to break that okay I had a friend who uh you know whose dad left him for another woman and he swore that he would never do that to his kids no matter what you know that's a promise you have to make to yourself not to a woman but to yourself men you gotta make that promise to yourself to be a man you know anybody can um, fertilize an egg okay uh, men need to make promises to themselves not to other not to women but to themselves and as for women, we need to make promises to ourselves, too, not to get pregnant by someone who you know cannot take care of you or your child, okay? You need, like, an alert system, you know, <laughs> low bank account alert, low, bad job alert, you know, uh, <laughs> irresponsible alert, have 10 different kids already alert. Don't lay down with somebody who's had kids with other women who are not with them. They're going to do the same thing to you, okay? Keep it moving, okay? Be that snob, and you'll you won't end up one of the um, ones that he leaves behind. Okay. Um, I remember I dated this guy when I was younger, and he had like kids by three different women. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I dated him. Okay, I didn't know he had three kids by three different women in the beginning, and um, you know, I was like, okay. And then I was like paying attention. I started paying attention because I was really young. I was like young. I was paying attention. I'm like, okay, this is a loser. Okay, oh no, I can't live like he still lived with his mom. I'm like, no, can't live like this. No. Well, he was living with one of the baby mamas at first. Then he got, then they broke up. Then he lived with his mom. Then that's when I met him. And I'm like, I was young and stupid, but you know, I was like, I'll date you for about a summer. <laughs> that's it. That's all I could have done. I, we had fun dancing to some Jamaican music in that summer. But after that, that was it. I'm done. Okay. I can't go backwards in my life. I'm, I have a plan. I have goals. Okay. You were just like Rihanna say. <laughs> you didn't know I was a savage. <laughs> okay. So anyway. Yes. Break the cycle, make better choices, ladies. Struggle love is an option. Also, um, you know, if you want a man who has it going on, you need to have something going on about yourself, you know, whether it be your personality, whether it be your looks, whether it be something that you and only you can do that no one else can do, you know. Uh, a lot of men are always saying, well, what do you bring to the table? And I always answer that question. I'm not bringing nothing to the table. I am the table, you know, what you bring it to me, whatever, whatever. You know, never answer that question, ladies. When, when men ask you what you bring to the table, walk off. Walk off. 
walk off and say, I'm bringing, uh, I, how can I bring anything to the table when I am the table, okay? And just walk off and like, you ain't ready for this because you still asking me how many bills I can pay and how much I got on it, you know? You need a roommate, don't need a woman, okay? Um, <laughs> so I will leave it at that. I know this video was kind of all over the place but sometimes those are the best kind of videos because you can take something from here and here and here and um the whole point of the video was to answer a question if i was rich would i be married yes i would be married but probably to a different person why i'm going to answer why because when i met my husband i was 22 years old and um he was the type of man that could take care of me and give me everything i needed Okay, now I don't know if I was rich, if I were rich, rich at 22 years old, would I have even talked to him? Would we have kids together? Probably not. I would probably have, <laughs> you know, married somebody else later on whenever I felt like, you know, I'm supposed to be married. It would be more out of, you know, oh, something that you're supposed to do because you're a woman type of thing, you know. It wouldn't have been because I was attracted to his ability to protect me, to take care of me, to teach me things, to show me things that I've never seen before, um, to worship me, basically. I would, like, I don't think I would have married him if I had money because when you have money, it's like, okay, well, I don't really need a man. You're interesting. You're really not my type. I don't even want to get to know you because you're not my type and I already got everything you can't offer me anything I don't you know you can't offer me anything like that's why women are attracted to men with money because they can offer them more than just money they can offer them security protection to teach them things how to earn money okay um they can teach them you know lots of things and women will respect a man that is like that okay now if you have your own money it's gonna take a lot to impress a woman with money okay you gotta do tricks and flips and be able to ha you know you gotta have a perfect six-pack and you know um, <laughs> look good at some Calvin Klein I don't know you just you're gonna have to be damn near perfect damn near perfect because most women only respect men you know that have accomplished a lot of things in life or that's something beautiful to look at like a statue okay that's it otherwise it's kind of like I don't really need a man I'll take it or leave it you know I got this I got everything already um you know and then the woman will always be paranoid oh is he cheating on me is he using my own money to go cheat on me because I know how men are and blah 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 so no I don't think I'd be married until I was about 35, 36 if I was rich. I would probably wait to the last minute and then go try to have some kids with a pretty boy and then make sure that prenup was signed real good and <laughs> that they ain't going to be able to take anything from me. And then I just keep him as my boy toy until he probably starts cheating up later on in life when uh, he realized that, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making it up um but yeah i probably wouldn't be married to the man that i'm married to if i had money no but hey i'm glad i didn't have money because the man that i'm married to taught me a lot of things he taught me how to make money he taught me how to be patient how to be optimistic he taught me um about you know valuing you know certain things putting priorities in order and all those things. So I'm glad that I married somebody who had the keys to success already and they could pass them down to me and teach me so that we can teach our children and so that when they grow up, they'll already know what to do, okay? So yes, I did marry uh, my husband because of what he could do for me and I'm glad I did because otherwise I wouldn't be the woman I am today. All right, I'll see y'all later, bye.